I think it's a choice between intelligence and, and uh, the lack of intelligence. And in, any intelligent human being is going to protect himself when he's attacked. Any intelligent human being will protect himself from his attacker. And if black people in this country are, are going to be encouraged not to protect themselves when they are being attacked by a very vicious organization, then I think that our uh, respect as human beings will never be forthcoming. Well, people may differ in, in uh, ways and means and methods, but they don't differ in the objective. The objective of every black American is complete recognition and respect as human, of, as human beings. This is why our objective. And you're never going to get people using the same means and the same method toward, toward uh, reaching any objective. I don't believe in any kind of nonviolence. I believe that it's right to be nonviolent with people who are nonviolent. But when you're dealing with an enemy who doesn't know what nonviolence is, as far as I'm concerned, you're wasting your time. And I think that the people in this part of the world would do well to listen to Dr. Martin Luther King and give him what he's asking for and give it to him fast before some other faction come along and try to do it another way. What he's asking for is right. That's the, the ballot. And if he can't get it the way he's trying to get it, then it's going to be got one way or the other.